So we need to code our servo, so please open your code editor. Please, there we go. Delete all this stuff. So highlight it and backspace it or something. Okay, so uh, we need special instructions to run a servo and that's going to require a library. So what I need to do is click the library button and head on down to servo and include it. And you should see it pop up as a pound include servo.h library. Um, the next thing we need to do is make sure that uh, Arduino knows that this uh, thing we're going to be doing is called a servo. So this right here is just attaching it to the servo library. Whatever you name it after this is the name of the servo. And for convenience, I'm going to call it my servo today. You could call it Bob or whatever you want, but if you mess it up, you might want to call it my servo. Semicolon. Uh, and then we do need to define some kind of pin that we're going to set this thing up on. We're going to call it a servo pin. And I think we used uh, three when we wired it. Yep, there it is, three. So let's use three here. And that is it for our global variables. Now it's time to do your setup. Oops, messed that up. Okay, so inside the setup, uh, a couple things we're going to do. We need to uh, do a pin mode, but it's it's got a funky, uh, uh, I guess it's got a funky name because it's part of the servo library. We're going to call it a my servo attach actually. So here's your name, my servo, and uh, <clears throat> in this library, uh, if you're going to um, hook something up, it's called attach. So we're going to attach a uh, a, a, a the, the servo to pin three, which was called servo pin. So inside, servo pin, like that. Let's open up a serial monitor so we can go ahead and have a look at our numbers just in case. So serial dot begin. Ninety six hundred, not thousand. Um, Ninety six hundred bytes per second, and that's it for the setup. Next is their loop. Okay, in the loop, um, this essentially uses degrees. So if we want to go to zero degrees, we would say my servo dot write. So like a digital, right? But we're writing with the servo. Uh, let's say we pick position zero. Uh, we need to wait about two seconds on this because it takes time for this servo to get to the other side. If you set this for one second, you won't get a 180 degree sweep. Your next command is my servo dot write of 180 degrees. So that should take it over to its other far position. So 180 degree sweep, 2,000 milliseconds. And uh, that's the code, guys. So it's pretty simple code today. Like I said, we need to learn how to make a sensor make this move. But first, you have to learn how to make it move without any sensors. So by forcing it to go to position 0, we should see it go to angle 0. And by forcing it to go to position 180, we should see it sweep over to 180 degrees. So let's see what we get. And there we go. So it's sweeping nicely. Um, that's what we're looking for. Uh, thank you very much, guys.